Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Uh, it's Greg here. Glad to see you guys today. Hope everybody's doing well. Definitely tell that we're getting so close. There's just so much happening. Um, I know I was watching um, a YouTube video the other day, and it was talking about a third of Bangladesh is flooded, a third of the United States, and the forests of the United States are on fire. Things are just getting out of control. It's, it's happening worldwide. If you can't tell, you can't see, you need to look up. You need to see the things that are going on. And, you know, I, there's so many people that I really want to reach out to and, and talk to, you know. I just don't know how else to reach them or how else to, you know, how I can get the message to them. And so I know a couple of them are subscribed. You know, and family members and things like that that, that we have. And, and having to do with religions, you know, we, we came out of the uh, Jehovah's Witness cult. And, and it, there's so many people that, that still want to tie themselves to a religion. It, it's, a, it's a, I don't get it. You know, when you have, when you have somebody else that wants to judge you for something because of the way... Man's infallible, and and you know no matter what their intentions may be or their heart may be, man is infallible. We all get things wrong. We all say things wrong, and and when that happens, we tend to, you know, it, we put our perspective above God's, and and that's the thing, and that's how it can be misleading to a lot of people. And, and so we have to be careful in our actions and, and, and in our words and how we say things because you, you never know who's, who it can affect or who's looking up to you. I know as a kid, you know, growing up, I thought so, I, I seriously thought that, that I was in the right religion. I thought it was, it was good. I thought I was doing right. You know, I was looking at everybody else, well, this person goes off and they sin and that, this and that, and. And and I thought I was I thought we were so much better, but you know, just as time goes on and you start to see that it's not it's more of an interest in promoting that particular name that's behind that organization or religion, whatever it may be. You know, um, it, we've been having a discussion here lately, you know, a Revelation 18.4, I heard the voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. And that involves, like, every religion, pretty much. You know, you got Catholic, Baptist, Church of Christ, Pentecostal, Methodist, Jehovah's Witness, Presbyterians, Seventh-day Adventist, Lutheran, Orthodox. The list is, it's all, all of it is, is you know, just man-made organizations. And and so, I've heard people say, well, what about, should you not cover, you know, should you not, should you not encourage the body? Yes, you should. And you should have those moments where you, where you talk with brothers and sisters and you build them up and encourage them. But God does not dwell in a temple. He doesn't dwell in a man-made temple. We know that. He doesn't, he, he dwells in each and every one of us. So, when you... When you understand that, and, and you see that he can be close and personal with each and every one of us, and it doesn't have to, it's not, it's not a particular religion, it's not a particular organization, um, and, you know, I do agree that there, that there's some religions have had importances, but they are machinations of the devil, and he uses them. And, and God uses them too. And, you know, that he, he's, he's taken and it, it, when I was there, there are half-truths mixed with lies. And, and that's, that's what it is. There are truths there. There are righteous standards that they follow. There are, there's, you know. But when you start mixing in the twisted sayings and those things, it's, it confuses a lot of people. And so it can be very detrimental to people. And, you know, the deep things of Satan, I would call it. He knows how to manipulate and twist people's minds and, and how to work on them. 
and and so those things we have to be careful with in our speech and in, and you know our actions and so and, and then like um, Galatians three twenty five it says but after faith has come we are no longer under the schoolmaster you think about this this setting right here I would have never never have actually stepped out you know probably just read the Bible on my own or just you know started delving into it so. I, I do see that having a background or a, a way to teach, like the, the temples, when the, the people would go to the temples to hear the sayings of God, to learn those sayings. But more times often than not, it's most people putting in, in, you know impression of what they think it is. And usually you have a few people sitting up on stage telling you what to do and, and telling you, how you should interact and how things should be or you're serving the body of Christ. Now, you can serve the body of Christ in all kinds of aspects and all kinds of manners. <clears throat> the thing that we always have to remember is that love should be the motivating factor behind all of that. That it should be love that compels us to move, to talk to people. And and you know, what is that love? What is that love? What is that love? What is, that love? What is, is that love for the building, for the, for the place you go to, or is it for God? Is it for Him? And is it for your individual brothers and sisters that you have around them? Without that love, without that love, there's, you know, that's, it's, it's pointless. It's just a bunch of laws and, and regulations, and there's no need to have that. That's, that's not what God's founded on. God's founded with God of love. And so we need to keep that first and foremost. And when you start taking away all this other stuff and, you know, imposing shunning and, and things like that where you don't speak to your family, those, that's not the love that God is. And the witnesses like to say, well, you should not even give a greeting to that person. You shouldn't even say something. Like we're labeled apostates. And apostates you don't talk to. You know, those are really hard things to get, you know. It's, it's kind of difficult when you've got a daughter, you know, your oldest daughter, that, that won't speak to her youngest, or my youngest daughter. Well, she'll speak to her, but she won't call on the phone because she's a real answer. That's crazy. And because we were baptized and, and my youngest daughter wasn't, but my youngest daughter no longer had the same views as that religion. So those things can get... Touchy, and, and you know that's not love. How do you how do you encourage one another than that? And that's but you're going more by the you're forgetting what it all boils down to, which is that the love that, that Jesus had for each and every one of us. You know, when he when he came to earth, every one of us falls so short. Every one of us are sinners. Every one of us. You there's nothing that we have that, that makes us above another brother or sister. There's nothing that that makes us stand out more. We're all sinners. We're all imperfect. And, and that love that he came down and showed us, that's the love that everybody should be focused on and how we can repay that same love. It's not for us to judge others. It's not for us to put others... And say this is the this is the right way to serve God here. This is the right way to do that. No, that's not the way. That's not the way it should be. You, you have to find the love first and understand. And, and with me, with me, like because of my roots and because of how I grew up. You know, I grew up so entrenched in that cult. It, it's nightmares, just nightmares all the time. I mean. You know, so you, it, I had to be completely broken and and completely to the lowest point in my life for, for you know, like to wake me up to see that, you know, there was no love there and that that's not what Jesus was intending for us to, to teach others. That's not love. And, and you can't sit there and say, well, our religion's here. And it goes beyond that. It just goes beyond religion. It goes in so many different levels and aspects of life. Love for each other, just love. And so, 
Um, enjoyed talking with you guys. I know it's a quick one. I try to get on a little bit more, but I just wanted to bring that out because I've had that come up a couple times today, and you know, I just really want people to be led to Christ, not to anyone else, not to another person. Not, you know, it's okay to listen. It's okay to listen to and to. You know, be encouraged by others and to get that love and to feel that sense of love from others. But don't start to follow. You know, don't don't become a follower. Don't follow Jesus. He is the light. Because, like I said, man's infall are fallible, and and even with the best intentions and the most sincere hearts, we, you know, people. It's easy. The heart's treacherous, and so we have to we have to remember these. Things. And try to apply them in our lives. And you know, if if you are one of the witnesses, JWs, or any of them out there, that, that you need that. You need to look and read the books of Peter. You know, just see that that love is that love. And and, and John, you know, I know a lot. It, there's a lot of people out there that have read those and. You know, I, it's just, as a witness, we read it multiple times, and we know that they always say, oh, we know what it says, we know this and that, but you really need to read the whole chapters. I mean, the whole book. I, I read it three times, sit straight, back to back. And three, the, the, even the books of Peter, like, three times, back to back. I just, it's almost like a book. You know, you get intrigued with a book, you don't want to read one sentence out of it or, or one little short paragraph, you want to read the whole thing, you get into it, it's like a movie, you've got to compose yourself inside of it, and put yourself in there, understand what he's talking about, and when I say that, if you do those things, and you start to see that that love, you know, that the guy was talking about, it's not in those churches, it's, it's not there, have love for your brothers and sisters, have love for God, above all things, put him first in your life, accept him and you know accept Jesus before you know time draws time is drawing close we can see it, it we, we talk about the, the there's the third of Bangladesh that's been flooded the third of the United States is forced fires it's it's coming on the earth it, it is a friend of mine mentioned birth pangs in, in one of her videos it's so true the birth things are here folks Find Jesus, find God, and it's not an organization. I'll talk to you guys later.